hello friends uh, in all these class in our previous class we have learned about the uh, mechanism of action of thyroid hormone and we have briefly dealt with two of its actions which are growth and development and metabolism the overall effect is it increases the catabolism of lipids glucose I mean carbohydrates and proteins increasing free fatty acids and glucose and amino acids in the blood the third action of thyroid is calorie genesis it increases the basal metabolic rate by stimulating cellular metabolism it stimulates cellular metabolism so thus increases bmr and this cellular metabolism also increases production of heat in production of energy and excess energy has heat basically this process is really important for maintaining body temperature right it also this is uh, it increases the bmr that is the second part and the fourth action of thyroid hormone is on cbs due to thyroid hormone there is increased catabolism that is there is increased metabolism right so this increased metabolism leads to increased peripheral demand this leads to increased heart rate increased contractility <coughs> sorry contractility cardiac output and thus resulting in fast bounding pulse <coughs> this is one method and it also directly activates contractile elements of of heart and thus stimulates contraction and thus increases contractility heart rate and carbon monoxide sorry <laughs> cardiac output so these are the major four functions the fifth function of thyroid hormone is on nervous system that is cns so this is necessary for normal growth of cns because growth and development of cns so whenever uh, uh, a, a baby with cretinism that is decreased or deficiency of t3 and t4 he has mental retardation so this is really important for uh, normal functioning of uh, cns so whenever a person with hyperthyroidism if you say uh, he has increased thyroid so he feels like nervous uh, anxiety tremors and hyperflexia is seen even in the skeletal muscles for normal growth and functioning of skeletal muscles it is required decreased skeletal thyroid hormone results in decreased muscle work that is the muscles become weak and flabby whenever there is increased thyroid hormone and that is in thyrotoxicosis there will be tremors and there will be myopathy and the seventh one is in git Uh, thyroid hormone increases the propulsive action of gut so in hypothyroid uh, that is decreased thyroid the person is will be suffering from uh, constipation whereas the person with increased thyroid hormone that is hyperthyroid person may be may, may suffer from uh, diarrhea 
and the eighth one is kidney uh it does not cause any diuresis in normal individuals but it may increase urine flow only when mixed hematis patients are treated with it so no diuresis but as ninth one hemopoiesis iodine is required or thyroid is required for normal hemopoiesis because if a person with decreased thyroid uh that is hypothyroid patients they would be suffering from they may suffer from anemia and the 10th and the final action of uh, thyroid hormones is on reproduction so thyroid hormone is necessary for normal reproduction and normal maintenance of menstrual period menstrual cycle so whenever uh, there is decreased thyroid hormone this may lead to amenorrhea and infertility whereas increased that is hyperfunction of thyroid hormones may lead to increased uh, menstrual cycles uh, thus thyroid hormone is necessary for normal growth and development of our body so in this so topic we have learned about the actions of thyroid hormone which are growth and development next metabolism calorie genesis and cvs effects and we have also learned about the cns skeletal muscles git kidney and hemopoiesis and respiration and reproduction so in our next class we could learn about the pharmacology that is pharmacokinetics and interactions of thyroid hormone which class closes today's class Okay bye